we have a very small animal and a very cute little animal and it's sitting perfectly in the shade enjoying its late lunch you can see it's got a little seed there and it has the most perfect teeth that are designed to be able to break open that nut and get to the little seed inside there so there is a very tasty seed that it's trying to kind of get to and it's got to get through this hard shell to be able to get there it's much like if you see something like a walnut or an almond or something like that they will have big sort of hard coatings around them and the little squirrel has to be able to break that open so it's got big sharp teeth at the front and you see look how it uses its little hands to be able to move them around then it can get those teeth in and get the little nut out but can you hear it actually grinding on the nut you can hear its teeth that's amazing <laughs> now normally squirrels are very shy shy little creatures and they don't really like to be very close to us as people but this little squirrel seems not to be worried i think it's because it's quite hot it's found itself the perfect place just to sit and enjoy its little nut that is as cool as it gets <laughs> oh that's amazing like I say, normally we don't even see these guys for more than a second or two. And this little one is just going to sit and enjoy lunch and take it very easy with us. Now, I think it was fighting with the bird earlier because when we first got here, there was a bird that was trying to get to that same nut. And then the squirrel chased it off and grabbed it and then ran up into the tree. And you can actually hear the bird is calling not too far away from us. It's moved a little bit. It was sitting right near the squirrel. But it is now moved away and sometimes this is what will happen even though both of these animals are not ones that eat meat or don't really want to hurt each other because they're not that way inclined they don't like chasing after one another it's when it is food and they need food they have to then chase after each other there you can see the bird just sitting right above us it's sitting on the branch and it's looking down towards the squirrel and that bird there is called a crested barbet it's probably one of the most colorful beautiful birds that we get here in africa it's got a beautiful yellow and red and black coloration and i think it's a little jealous of the squirrel itself now unfortunately where it's sitting is a little bit obscured by a branch so we can't really see it well Frankie, yes, the African squirrels are similar to the squirrels that you get on your side of the world. This particular squirrel, which is called a tree squirrel, is a little bit smaller than the ones you see there. If, I think you guys will see the red squirrel and maybe even the big gray squirrels. But these ones here are much, much, much smaller, maybe half the size of the squirrels that you see there. And this is a fully grown individual. It's a little male that we've got sitting up here. And I know that because I can just see him with his legs open and that's how we tell. So <laughs> it's a little bit easy because squirrels, well, they have rather large man parts. Now, while we watch our little squirrel destroy his nut and eat it and get his lunch, Oh, it's disappearing now, so we're going to leave our little squirrel alone and let it carry on with its day. But I